Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of the city this stuff, it's all that I, have I elected to establish my administration all right, I'm moving. here Jeez. in the Citadel so Were you the only ones on that train? our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts of the home, welcome to City 17. Safe. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. I never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always they're always departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they, they, they never leave. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefit. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts of the world, welcome to City 17. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Okay, Gordon. 
You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Thank you for writing, sir. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic dialogue impulses, with all its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for all mankind? Everything activates the pressure field and let's bleed again. Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concern, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left on voice. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our world. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical thinking, revision, starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. <laughs> 